No doubt, we experienced a wonderful project, a landmark initiative of ISP Group and a project of MES Private Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, great organizations are viewed in the marketplace as a source of high quality talent and the visionary leaders make this possible. If you are persistent, forward thinker, if you are plan oriented, communicative, collaborative, and effective in communicating and creative, and you really know how to move forward with the clear decisions, then nothing can stop you to achieve your goals and the result is the prestigious ISP group. I think you understand. In your huge round of applause, I may humbly request to the worthy CEO of ISP Group to kindly grace the stage for the opening remarks, please. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Brigadier Ahmed Rizwan Guman Sab, all the senior management and directors of DHA Multan, fellows and my colleagues from ISP, thank you very much for being here today on this momentous occasion of the groundbreaking ceremony of our new university project at DHA Multan. Let me start with uh, my personal gratitude again to Ghuman Saab and his, and his predecessor, Brigadier Kiani Saab, for allotting this very beautiful piece of land in the heart of DHA. As far as I know, in my opinion, this is the only education and health city throughout Pakistan in all the DHAs. The concept when we started uh, talking to DHA three, four years ago, the concept was perfect. And at that time, it was at the early stage. And I was the advocate of this project. And I remember talking to Brigadier Kiani Saab for this. We were expecting lot many institutions, even from the region that we were expecting that they would come in and the whole city would really become a city where all the hospitals in private or government sector and of course the education institution, they will get together at the same place and the idea was at that time looks very perfect. But unfortunately, to cater these kind of projects, of course, you need a vision. And unfortunately, there was none of the institution at the higher education level came to this area. Although, despite, as you can understand, every day we pass by the ISP campus, which we just have seen, we all already have more than 55 acres of land. We have recently completed our seventh academic block. In terms of uh, area, we are larger than 700,000 square feet. And the, this is the built up area. And probably in, in, in my knowledge, we are the largest in terms of infrastructure in the region and one of the largest in Pakistan. We still, despite as I'm telling you, despite we had this uh, right opposite to the DHA gate, I remember when the DHA started, it was DHA opposite ISP, but now we proudly announce our own address as ISP opposite DHA. And there are a certain number of universities which are now present alongside in the education city with us. And even then we bought this piece of land. And although, as you can understand, only we probably at the moment we are five, six miles away, but still we, uh, we took this opportunity and uh, as you can see in the presentation, our international standard campus, international standard uh, independent university inshallah would be there in the next three, four days, three, four years time. ISP, 
which is our, of course, which is uh, a brand, is one of the largest in terms of degrees in this region. We, in private sector, we have more than 70 degree programs, uh, six faculties and almost 21 teaching departments. Recently, we have been uh, awarded uh, seventh place in UIE ranking, which is actually an environment-based ranking, green metric it's called. And we have been awarded seventh number in private sector institutions. We were at number 480 in the whole world. In the life of universities, uh, the time uh, as we got the charter in 2010, 13 or 14 years time in the life of universities, in my opinion, is like we are a very small child. I happened to attend a certain conferences in the world where we were invited in 700th birthday of that particular university. So at the same time, in Pakistan, we do have Punjab University and other universities which are more than 100 years old. So 10, 12 years time in, in the life of university is nothing. But even in this time, Alhamdulillah, we have uh, achieved as mentioned. And conceiving another project within that time, within this span of time in 10, 12 years in the same region, uh, we, we are expecting to, uh, Brigadier Saab was just asking what would be the procedure. I would take this opportunity of uh, the presence of the directors of the project, DHA project as well. Please differentiate between a university project and a commercial buildings which are coming up in the uh, DHA. In commercial buildings or towers or these kind of malls or shops, there is a certain cycle in which they started to sell their product and over the period of time the amounts are coming in and they are in a position to of course uh, repay the amounts to DHA when it comes to the cost. And recently I sent my project director to DHA management to just to make them realize that an education institution is a very new phenomena in your project. Fast and normal, which the renowned universities, of course, they are alongside uh, uh, our project, they are coming in as well. So when they would start, they would be talking to you the same issues. Thing is, the initial phase of this project, which is, uh, is almost, I think, is 600,000 square feet project uh, of a new university project. So the phase one, which will be of 200,000 square feet, inshallah, will be completed in three years' time. After that time, Brigade Sir, we would be applying to the government for the independent charter. And let me tell you, the charter issuance, charter enactment from the governments are actually depends on the policies of that particular government which would be in force at that time. So it's very, very difficult. It's a totally, it's a blind project going for three years, investing billions of rupees and then, of course, showcasing your project in front of the government and asking for the charter is, is a task. It took eight years to get the charter for ISP. We started to 2002 and ended up in 2010 after eight years. And especially in these kind of remote areas where uh, our, unfortunately, our politicians and the decision makers, they are not that, that much interested to have these kind of institution in the region. And totally it's a political matter because you have to go through an assembly for the next month. So after three years, the phase one, we will be going to the assembly and asking for the charter. Hopefully, if the quickest possible time would be there, even then it will take almost two years. So after five years, we will be getting the charter, then announcing the admissions, and then the same circle, in the, which in the case of tower or a commercial building comes in few weeks, it will take at least five to six years to get to that place. 
So I would request the honorable directors of the DHA project to kindly differentiate wherever you have my documents in front of you, when it comes to the payments, when it comes to the completion. And it, this is not, of course, out of place to mention that at the moment in universities, out of these three universities which are going to be there in the education city, we are far ahead of any other university there. And even the other projects, even the commercial projects, other than a couple of projects, the, the progress of ISP is far better than anybody else at, uh, at the ground. But still, inshallah, we are moving with the Godspeed. Uh, after this uh, groundbreaking ceremony, inshallah, next month in the first week, we'll be starting the work on the uh, main site. Uh, which you have seen, this is a very futuristic building, environment friendly, uh, state of the art facilities, cutting edge research facilities. And because we have almost all departments in ISP, so I am foreseeing to establish relatively a medical side university. Although it will be a general university, we would have, of course, engineering and technology, computer science, and all that programs, but the concentration would be on the medical side. So in the, in the phase one, uh, we are completing our first tower, academic block first that would be, and a dental college along with it. So in three, four years time when we will be in a position to start, we will start with the medical sciences. And then over the period of time, of course, a concept of general university inshallah would be there. So. Let me assure you, Brigitte Saab and your team, that whatever we have shown to you on the slides, with the blessing of Almighty, in a very near future, you would see top class international standard university in DHA Multan. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for already extended cooperation of yourself and your team and we look forward to have even better understanding between us. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Vardi CEO of ISP Group. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite on the stage a young talent, very energetic and enthusiastic Director of International Affairs of ISP, Honorable Haris Shahzad Aslam on the stage. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we are honored to be here today in the presence of uh, Brigadier Ahmed Rizwan Guman Saab, uh, our honorary rector and vice chancellor and CEO, Asim Nazir Ahmed Saab, uh, DHA directors, project secretary, as well as ISP senior management faculty and wider colleagues. We're honored today to be here not just to, to lay a foundation stone or carry out the groundbreaking of a building, as Asim Sahib has said. This isn't just another plaza or similar. This is an educational establishment, an educational establishment which acts as a starting point for the life of many students. Tens of thousands, inshallah, hundreds of thousands, and, and uh, soon to be millions of students um, as part of the ISP group within both ISP and the new university project as well. Students will be attaining an education. They will be taking away life lessons. They will be making friends, memories that they will cherish for the rest of their lives. Actually, what I say often is this isn't just simply an education, but it's a journey. A journey where the teachings of your lecturers, your teachers, your peers, they, they shape who you are, almost a sort of finishing school. I want to talk to you about one word, a word that Asim Saab used as well, which is vision. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for vision. It's a turbulent world at the moment. Post-COVID, a lot has changed. We know what's going on in, in Palestine and so on and so forth. There's turbulence generally across the board, whether it's politically, whether it's otherwise, but there is one constant that is always there, and that is visionaries visionaries like Brigadier Sahab, like Ghassim Sahab. A vision to grow, a vision to inspire, a vision to educate, 
a vision to better ourselves, a vision to better others. Inshallah, a vision to make a difference. There was a vision 20 years ago, 30 years ago actually, for ISP in Multan, which is a huge sahulat, which wasn't here previously. This acts fundamentally as a beacon for the area. 20 years ago, it's important to remember there was no DHA Multan. There was nothing here. It was land. It takes a big vision to see that and see what this can become and indeed what this has become. Asim Saab mentioned we have been ranked 480th globally from Green Metric. One of the key parts of Green Metric is sustainability. These rankings do not just come by chance or by luck or similar, they come from that vision. I'm very honored to have the privilege of, of walking around campus quite often with, with our worthy rector. And it's very interesting to see his thought process. And if you visit our campus, and, and those of you who have had the privilege of visiting campus, you will see and you will know that we have constructed buildings, Asim Sahib has designed buildings, paths, to go around trees because he doesn't want to chop down a tree. This is what you call a vision, and this is what you call principles. It's about more than square footage, though. It's about more than buildings. It's about more than trees. Again, this is about the start to the next journey, the journey of life for our tens of thousands of students. Not, longer, not, not long after ISP, there was another vision forming. That vision was of DHA Multan. Again, the level of economic prosperity that DHA Multan has brought, the level of economic prosperity that it will bring, the level of economic prosperity that an educational establishment brings is huge, and none of this is possible without a vision. You head out of the arena here today, you look at the videos of DHA Multan, it is not possible, in my opinion, to have imagined this 20 years ago. If you had said to somebody, this is what we're going to deliver, it wouldn't have been possible. That is what a vision is. Now there's a new vision, as, as uh, has been presented to you today and, and what we are here for. And that vision is for not just an education campus, but obviously immediately a new university, inshallah. A journey for tens, hundreds of thousands of students. It will have a huge, huge economic benefit, probably to the tune of billions of rupees in the local area. An establishment, again, isn't just about educating students. It's about a lot more than that. It's about collaborating. It's about collaborating with industry. It's about bringing industry. This will be a multidisciplinary university, as, as mentioned, including medical sciences, a dental college, and importantly, as you'll have, you'll have seen in the video, a girls' hostel as well. This builds on the woman block that we already have in our campus. Inshallah, gender equality is a big thing, and, and we want to educate as many far and wide as possible without discrimination. So having a state-of-the-art girls' hostel on site, which, which is nothing like Multan or the region has seen before, will be huge. At the same token, we continue to grow and we continue to drive in our current campus. As mentioned, we have over 14,000 students at present. Inshallah, we're continuing on that journey. You'll have seen in the video presentation, we're opening up an international coffee franchise in Multan, which will actually be the largest in Pakistan by the name of Second Cup Coffee Company, which, which opens up uh, this, this month, later this month, next week, inshallah. Absolutely. Inshallah, everybody's invited. The date will be announced very soon, unless uh, the honorary rector permits me to announce it now. Inshallah, inshallah. This is the point about vision, though. This is the point. It's not just about an educational establishment. It's about more than that. It is about industry. It is about business. Ultimately, it's about how do we collaborate both of these. We can give students opportunities to give and not just ultimately to learn the academia, but also to get involved and have that real life skill and knowledge firsthand before they, they graduate from our establishment. 
This is part of this vision that we are looking to deliver. This is the vision that we're already delivering, and inshallah, this is the vision that we will deliver collectively in DHA Multan. We're forging ahead with development works now, and inshallah, to, to aim to brush off this vision, not just to ourselves, but to others, to other educational establishments, as we have already done so, and inshallah, to other business as well. I am sure DHA Multan in the coming years will be a, a huge happening part. We at ISP want to be a huge part of that, inshallah. Again, not just in respect of education, but much more than that. We would invite and we would welcome collaboration on that front, and inshallah, we look forward to delivering this project over the coming years. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Director, International Affairs of ISP. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, planning and development plays an important role to shape up a wonderful project in the end. I would like to invite Director PND of ISP, Honorable Engineer Khuram Ali Shah, to kindly grace the stage and present the viewers' multimedia presentation of our university project at DHA Multan, a landmark initiative of ISP Group, a project of MES Private Limited. Bismillah Rahmani Rahim. सबसे पहले तो मैं अल्लाह जल्ला शानों का बहुत शुक्र अदा करता हूँ कि जिन्होंने आज हमें ये दिन दिखाया और हम एक मेगा एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट की ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग सेरेमनी करने जा रहे हैं साथ साथ मैं डीएचए अथॉरिटीज का बहुत शुक्र गुजार हूँ जिन्होंने लैंड प्रोक्योरमेंट से लेकर लैंड पोजिशन और मैप की अप्रूवल तक जहाँ जहाँ मुश्किल आई वहाँ पर हमें गाइड किया इस्पेशली डायरेक्टर प्लानिंग तैमूर हाशमी साहब और डिप्टी डायरेक्टर जैन साहब जिन्होंने हर उस मौके पर जहाँ पर हमें कोई प्रॉब्लम आई प्रॉपर गाइड करके हमें यहाँ तक पहुँचाया थैंक यू वेरी मच सर जैसा कि अभी सर ने बताया लास्ट फोर ईयर्स से हम लोग गाइडेंस ऑफ वर्दी रेक्टर इस प्रोजेक्ट पर काम कर रहे थे इस प्लाट को एक्वायर करने के बाद तकरीबन कोई सिक्स लैख स्क्र फिट का हमें एरिया दिया गया कि जो यहाँ पे कंस्ट्रक्ट करना था नॉर्मली बिल्डिंग ग्राउंड प्लस टू और थ्री स्टोरीज की होती है एजुकेशनल बिल्डिंग बट यहाँ पर हमें ग्राउंड प्लस नाइन स्टोरीज तक जाना पड़ा ये एक मुश्किल डिसीजन था लेकिन थैंक्स टू वर्दी डायरेक्टर जिन्होंने हमें अलाउ किया क्योंकि इसमें कॉस्ट और टाइम दोनों बहुत ज़्यादा लगते हैं और फिर आफ्टर द अप्रूवल हमने इस पे काम किया इसके बाद सबसे मुश्किल काम था आर्किटेक्ट जो फर्म है उसकी सिलेक्शन उसके लिए डिज़ाइन मैट्रिक्स को चूज़ किया गया क्योंकि इस तरह की आर्किटेक्चर फर्म चाहिए थी जिनके पास एजुकेशनल और मेडिकल साइट दोनों को डिज़ाइन करने का एक्सपीरियंस हो मुल्तान में उन्होंने बुच इंटरनेशनल हॉस्पिटल डिज़ाइन किया हुआ था और मुल्तान के डायनेमिक्स से भी वो वाकिफ थे तो उनको चूज़ किया गया और उनके साथ मिलकर हमने इस पे काम शुरू किया डेंटल कॉलेज की डिज़ाइनिंग इट्स एक मुश्किल और टेक्निकल काम है इसमें हम एक प्रोस्थेटिक लैब भी बनाने जा रहे हैं जिसके अंदर जो एक्सीडेंट्स होते हैं और जॉज या फेस डैमेज हो जाते हैं उसको रिकन्स्ट्रक्ट किया जा सकेगा ये फैसिलिटी इससे पहले पाकिस्तान में तीन से चार डेंटल कॉलेज में है और जैसे कि आपको पता है कि मुल्तान ना सिर्फ लोअर पंजाब को सर्व करता है बल्कि इंटीरियर सिंध और बलूचिस्तान से भी लोग यहाँ पे आते हैं तो अब ये फैसिलिटी उन सब लोगों को भी यहाँ पे इन शाला अवेलेबल होगी बिल्डिंग को डिज़ाइन करते हुए हमने चार चीज़ों का ख़ास तौर पर बहुत ख्याल रखा नंबर वन कार पार्किंग जो कि पब्लिक सेक्टर की जो बिल्डिंग्स होती हैं उन पर सबसे ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लमेटिक होती है तीन टावर्स के अंदर बेसमेंट हमने डेडिकेटेड कार पार्किंग रखी ताकि इस किस्म की प्रॉब्लम से हम अवॉइड कर सकें ओपन कार पार्किंग उसके अलावा है सेकंड अगर आप इसके एलिवेशन पे देखेंगे तो प्रॉपर वेंटिलेशन और सनलाइट का ख्याल रखा गया नॉर्मली हम लोग यहाँ पे सनलाइट को यूज़ नहीं करते पाकिस्तान में तो अगर आप देखेंगे चारों तरफ से बिल्डिंग वेंटिलेटेड भी है और इस पर सन भी आ रही है तीसरी चीज़ था इसका एलिवेशन जिस पे वर्दी रेक्टर और आर्किटेक्ट ने बहुत काम किया अप्रॉक्सीमेटली सिक्स टू एट मंथ्स लगे इसको डिज़ाइन करने के लिए कॉन्सेप्ट इसका ये था कि मॉडर्न आर्किटेक्चर के साथ ऐसा एलिवेशन डिज़ाइन किया जा सके जो किसी से रिजेम्बलेंस ना रखता हो और इंस्टीट्यूट अपनी मिसाल खुद आप बने फोर्थ वन विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट था इसका इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और उसके जो इस्ट्रक्चर डिज़ाइन था क्योंकि जो यूनिवर्सिटी या एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट्स बनते हैं वो सदियों पर मुहित होते हैं तो हमने अपने डॉक्टर्स जो कि जिनकी स्पेशलाइजेशन डॉक्टरेट भी स्ट्रक्चर में थी उनके साथ इस स्ट्रक्चर डिज़ाइन टीम को ज्वाइन किया और उन्होंने एक बेहतर स्ट्रक्चर डिज़ाइन हमें करके दिया ताकि इस बिल्डिंग को लॉन्ग लॉन्ग लास्टिंग किया जा सके 
लास्ट लास्ट वन इसका कंस्ट्रक्शन शेड्यूल है कंस्ट्रक्शन कंस्ट्रक्शन शेड्यूल को अपने फाइव फेजेस में डिवाइड किया पहले पे डेंटल कॉलेज का ग्रे स्ट्रक्चर और टावर वन का ग्रे स्ट्रक्चर किया गया जिसमें आप देख सकते हैं कि 18 मंथ्स हमें इसमें रिकॉर्ड होंगे बेसमेंट हम कंप्लीट टावर वन टू और थ्री की बनाएंगे और उसके साथ ग्रे स्ट्रक्चर एकेडमिक टावर वन और डेंटल कॉलेज का बनेगा इसके बाद ये इस ग्रे स्ट्रक्चर की टीम हमारी फेज टू में टावर टू और टावर थ्री पे मूव कर जाएगी और उस फिनिशिंग वर्क डेंटल कॉलेज और टावर वन का स्टार्ट हो जाएगा साइमल्टेनियसली हम इस तरह आगे चलते जाएंगे और इन पूरी कोशिश है कि सिक्सटी मंथ्स में हम इस प्रोजेक्ट को कम्प्लीट कर सकें अल्लाह ताला से दुआ है कि अल्लाह ताला हमारे लिए आसानी का मामला फरमाए उसे हम टाइम पे कंप्लीट कर सकें थैंक यू वेरी मच शुक्रिया आई वुड लाइक टू मेक अ हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट टू वर्ड द चीफ गेस्ट द प्रोजेक्ट डायरेक्टर ऑफ डीएचए ऑन द स्टेज इन योर ह्यूज राउंड ऑफ अपलाज आई रिक्वेस्ट वर्ड द चीफ गेस्ट टू काइंडली ग्रेस द स्टेज एंड टू एड्रेस द ऑडियंस प्लीज बिस्मिल्लाह रहमान रहीम चौधरी आसिम साहब मैनेजमेंट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ सदर्न पंजाब और मैनेजमेंट ऑफ डी एच ए मोहतरीन मोहतरम खातन हजरात असलकुम फर्स्ट ऑफ आल आई लाइक टू थैंक चौधरी आसिम साहब फॉर वाइटिंग मी फॉर दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओकेजन दैट इज़ दी ब्रेक ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग ऑफ एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन इन डी एच एज यू नो दैट इट्स बीन अराउंड टू टू एंड हाफ मंथ दैट आई हैव टेकन ओवर एज प्रोजेक्ट डायरेक्टर ऑफ डी एच ए मुल्तान and uh, and i have been moving around understand the dynamics of the city and dha as well so as you have seen in this video of around 3 4 minutes that we have taken giant steps and we have taken we have moved miles in the development of dha in terms of infrastructure in terms of provision of civic facilities entertainment and other requirements which are essential for the livability but you all understand that so far we have not been able to achieve that kind of livability in dha what this precious piece of land should have attained by now so once i was making my conclusions the first conclusion is that the foremost thing for the livability to me is the education and a state of the art health organization in dha so far both are missing so i would like to thank the institute of southern punjab management to give us that jump start which dha needs urgently a giant step towards the livability to creation of a state of the art uh, education institute uh, institution in dha uh actually i i was not aware of this project uh, institute of southern praj although i have moved many times on boson road i have seen this building on boson road but today i have come to know what a great project it is the education project which great numbers around 14000 students that's a huge number uh, for a institution in the presence of many universities which are just within a mile distance of this institution to have this kind of uh, number of student that means this institution is doing very well in terms of providing quality education to students and i want to appreciate acknowledge your efforts and uh, and i hope and pray that this institution grows very well in future as well uh choi sahab explained thank you very much for explaining the difference between the education institution and the commercial venture i want to show you that being the first education institution in dh multan my all out support is always with you anything you need from dh to strengthen this project we myself and my management the team is always available to you and why i was asking that how long it will take to this project to be functioning you said 4 years so i got little worried also i did not know the technical technicalities involved in the commissioning of this project but still i would request you if you could squeeze this time for the commissioning and construction of uh, this huge project we'll be very happy to see this project coming up on ground and students students pouring into this institution all across pakistan and especially southern punjab that will go actually the benefit of dha and for the benefit of uh, this institution uh 
as you have seen that the DHA is future of Multan. There is no doubt about it. Uh, this is the only area where can people. Uh, I mean, I have never no, not seen. Uh, this is my fourth and you're in DHA, being my virtue of my service in Multan. So I see this only place where the civic infrastructure is meeting those standards, which are at par with any international organization or the institution or the uh, organization or the living colony or uh, management. So uh, with the inclusion of uh, this institute, I think this is another feather in our cap that the Institute of Southern Punjab has selected DHA for their the state-of-the-art campus. I am thrilled actually to see uh, the future project which is coming up uh, in, uh, in Multan. And uh, in the end, I would like to extend my congratulations, my felicitations, and my all out support to Josie Saab, its team, so to, uh, to have these projects completed in earlier time frame. Anything you want, anything, any need, any, any assistance you require from DHA in terms of accomplishment of this project, uh, we are always available to you. And we wish you good luck, we wish you prosperity, and we wish you Godspeed in providing education, quality education to the students and citizens of Pakistan, especially in southern Punjab.